From the grand vastness of galaxies to the intricacies of atomic interactions, the universe operates across a spectrum of scales. But as we delve deeper, we encounter a realm where our intuitive grasp of reality begins to dissolve. In this journey, we'll explore the possible smallest limits of space and time, diving deep into a thought experiment involving two electrons. Imagine two electrons, particles with a fundamental electric charge held at a certain distance apart. As we bring them closer, the electric repulsion between them grows stronger. In the world of the very small, forces play out dramatically. Now let's juxtapose the electric force with gravity. Normally, gravity is the weakest of the fundamental forces, especially at small scales. For most microscopic interactions, it's so weak that we often ignore it altogether. But as we'll see, when we probe the deepest realms of the tiny, gravity becomes an unexpected and powerful player. To understand this shift, let's first consider Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. At its core, it states that we cannot know both the position and momentum of a particle with perfect precision. The more precisely we know one, the less precisely we can know the other. Now combine this quantum quirkiness with Einstein's theory of special relativity, which tells us that as an object's speed approaches the speed of light, its mass effectively increases. If we try to determine an electron's position more accurately by squeezing its space, we need to compensate with an increased uncertainty in momentum. This, in turn, implies greater speeds and therefore greater relativistic masses. As these squeezed electrons gain effective mass, something profound happens. The gravitational attraction between them, normally minuscule, starts growing significantly. As we push our electrons closer and closer, there's a specific distance where the gravitational force matches the strength of their electrostatic repulsion. This is groundbreaking because it means that gravity can dominate even in the quantum realm. And here at this pivotal juncture, when our electrons are so intimately close, we encounter the Planck length, approximately 1.6 x 10.35 meters. At this scale, the gravitational attraction becomes so intense that our duo collapses into a miniature black hole. This scenario places a fundamental limit on the smallest distances we can meaningfully probe. Beyond the Planck length, our classical understanding of space and time disintegrates. But how do we arrive at these Planck units? Through dimensional analysis and by merging the constants of our key theories, quantum mechanics, relativity, and gravity. By intertwining the speed of light, Planck's constant, and the gravitational constant, we can derive not just the Planck length, but also the Planck mass and Planck time. The implications of this thought experiment are staggering. Our universe might have a fundamental resolution akin to pixels on a screen. Beyond the Planck scale, the very fabric of space-time may lose its conventional meaning. In conclusion, our journey from two electrons to the brink of a quantum black hole offers a glimpse into the foundational puzzles of our universe. The Planck scale isn't just a minuscule measurement, it's a beacon pointing to the uncharted territories of physics where gravity, quantum mechanics, and relativity dance in unison. As we ponder the vastness and intricacies of the cosmos, let's also marvel at its smallest intricacies, where space, time, and matter converge and challenge our deepest understandings. The universe, it seems, has secrets tucked away in every nook and cranny, from the grandest galaxies to the tiniest Planck lengths.